MPE 19589 Chicago Mad or Chicago Police is gang stalking me and threatening to rape me. I just got him on camera. Better than you in life. Okay, do you need any medical attention? I don't really What do you think? I'm just asking you, someone called they're concerned about you. No, this is just organized talking and harassment as usual for you guys around here in this entire city. Okay, sir, I'm just checking to make sure you're okay, that's all. Um, nope. Do you need medical attention? You're a terrorist. Okay, have a good day. Don't look at my cat or any of my stuff. And now this guy who threatened to sick his dog on me, a uh, German Shepherd that he threatened to rape, um, is also lying to the cops and they want me to role play. But I'm sick of it. Yeah. And now they're using <laughs> microwave weapons on me to slow my heart down or my chest. Because they're fucking cowards who don't want personal confrontation. And it's not the point, because they're violent as fuck. This guy keeps lying and they just keep making false calls on me. And they're threatening to take my cat and rape her and kill her, and she's already dying of starvation. So I want all of you stalkers out there who are watching this to just remember what's going on. And everything in between, but... These people are fucking sick. Fucking parasites from hell. Fucking rapists everywhere. Maybe one day this can be serving as evidence to someone out there who cares. That's what I hope. That's what I pray for and it is possible and they're fucking stupid as fuck. This is on North May Street in Chicago, Illinois, in case anybody um, sees this ever. I'm just letting you know the street that I'm forced to be homeless on. And this guy in this green sweatshirt with his two dogs almost sicked a dog on me and threatened to stab me with his friends. Also got in a live chat of some sort and there's random people threatening to kill me, calling me names and threatening to kill me. So this is my life now. This is my life that they ruin. So I'm praying for everyone. That's all I can do is pray. God made the world be healed of these demons from hell. May they change, may they actually feel bad and try to experience human emotions in a positive way instead of embracing the worst emotions possible. And I was just threatened indirectly by this guy over here who I would zoom up on, but then they're all going to creep up from every corner and uh, engage me. So that's where he lives. Um, this is May Street, or the May Street. In Chicago, they're getting worried, so I'm being attacked harder with the energy weapons of some sort in my chest. And that's all I know. Satellite mind control. Fucking bullshit. Community policing terrorists. False arrests. Everything else. I don't need to sound fanatical. 
And when I say fanatical, I actually meant obsessive about everything it's done to me. So now I've got to focus on uh, protecting myself and my cat mouse. I came to Chicago because I had to. And uh, it is not going good. So they keep threatening to kill me. Last night, I barely made it through the night. I was recording an Instagram live and I named out many people and they hacked my iPhone and turned it off. And so this all started because of Randall and Jennifer Cullen. And that is my estranged mother and stepfather who are closet child abusers, or at least claim to be, who have created incest and broadcasted it and possibly recorded it. And when I say that, I mean of uh, myself in private situations when they shouldn't be watching me. And this is satellite terrorism. And my battery is running low, of course, and I cannot charge it. So now they're taking advantage of me and hitting me harder with the weapons in my chest. Everywhere I go, I'm harassed. And when I confront people about gang stalking, they try to lie through their teeth. And I'm sick of cliches. So, yeah, I'd rather be as real as possible and embrace what I can in life. And I hope that God comes around. And that is it. Love is everything. I'm signing off for now. I have to conserve my energy and the energy of my phone. So one last stupid joke, but that's kind of like these people, but they're not funny. They're only terrifying.